this must be a joint. There they, there they are. Oh, I'm coming in. What's up? How are you? Yeah, good to see you. How are you? Good Great. to see you too. Great. I forgot. How did I forget? <laughs> Oh, uh, look at Chunky Monkey. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell there yeah. He is, brother. Get All out the way of from here. Montana. That's Gotta get sweet. the angle so he's really big. Like, you know, <laughs> look at that. Ah. That's awesome. Oklahoma, a state that we've hunted before, but an opportunity, thanks to our good buddy Jason, that we had been waiting for for a long time. With potentials in both management for good whitetails and for long-term lease, we knew that with each other's company, we would have a ton of fun and a lot of laughs, but I believe the hunt itself and its long-term possibilities far outreached our expectations. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hang a camera right in here somewhere. We'll walk right down into here somewhere. Maybe right in there and that there that opens up. Welcome to Southern Oklahoma. We've already seen two really good bucks. The first one, we've called him Unicorn. We got trail camera pictures of him all day yesterday. Not sure if we had good enough camera light at that point, but he was at 15 yards right in front of us. And then this tall eight with kickers. Got a bunch of pictures of him yesterday. And this ranch we're hunting is uh, at the start of a management program and they're trying to shoot five-year-old deer. And because Oklahoma can shoot two bucks, they're looking to also call out the management deer. Uh, somewhat of a new thing for Nick and I. We don't do a whole lot of you know management in that regard. But we're gonna do our best here in Oklahoma.
feeling something tells me we're not gonna be without deer until dark but I will leave it here Tom doesn't pass deer like that but I'm willing to when you have an opportunity like we have in front of us right here this Oklahoma property we've been on it for 36 hours 48 hours I guess total since first getting here one day of scouting, a day hunting, and what we have pictures of and what we've laid eyes on is pretty darn special. This has the potential for management. And if our small group of guys wants to manage, then manage we shall. That's a tough deer to pass. There's so many deer out here. I just want to show you here this series of text messages. How late are you going to sit? Don't really know. Deer constantly around us. We're not sure either. Steady action. Says let's touch base over the next hour. Sounds good, brother. Right after that, cold buck down. I've dreamed for a long time to kind of have a good spot to whitetail hunt, to go to, be able to set up my own tree stand, pick my own spot. That's the reward to me is, you know, figuring these animals out, looking at the trails, looking at the topography and, and a beautiful, just lopsided Oklahoma deer here. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful morning. Seconds later, the sticker eight. Unicorn. Six twenty-two. So ten, eleven minutes later. <laughs>
part of the struggle, I think, when you do a DIY hunt on a brand new piece of property is balancing that time of hunting and scouting slash setting stands, cameras, etc. We, were, uh, we weren't fortunate enough to get this lease far in advance, so we couldn't come out here and do all that scouting. All we could do was e-scout. And everywhere that we have gone so far that we marked an on X has been exactly what we were hoping it to be. But still, you need to put boots to the dirt. You need to get cameras on. You need to see what deer in the area. And it's proven to be difficult here. We came out of this spot this from this morning's hunt, and we went and set another camera, got some white gold out, picked another tree where we could hang another stand. And it's a phenomenal spot, just as we hoped it would be. The downside is when we came back into our stand here, and it's still early, It's not. it wasn't even 2.30 at that time. We bumped so many deer. All we can do is, you know, look at the positives. There's a lot of deer here. They wanna be here. As a matter of fact, here comes a doe right now. Looks like a doe. Have you ever dreamed of working in the outdoor industry and unsure of what that next step should be? Film the Hunt, the industry's leader in production education and the most trusted source for job placement. It's about 1.30, we're back in. If it's anything like last night, we better buckle in because it's just plain insanity in this set. So, and, uh, I'm sure it'll be the first what? I just heard a grunt. Yeah, multiple.
bloodshot eye. I'm in my mid-40s and for some reason I'm going through something that I feel like I went through when I was 14. I'm embarrassed. I'm, I'm disgusted. I'm, I'm so many different things. Only a boner knows. I just want to go home. This wasn't the first time that this had happened to me this season. And I knew that trying to climb out of it was going to be the hard part. Doing everything I could do personally to try and stay focused was one thing. But having good friends to lean on and talk it through was another. And in fact, I think that's exactly what I needed to be able to get back out there. But I promised myself that I wouldn't release another arrow at a buck until I had made a successful shot on a doe. Looking back at all I've seen Waiting for moments that better to me And it ain't the time It's looking back with yeah. Man, look at that hole that Shank put in her. <laughs> if we give it our best and we just come ashore, will we still see the 